Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our Survivor 45 Episode 2 Reaction and Review. I, we'll, we'll talk a lot about the strategy and everything that happened in this episode, but strange as it may be, we're actually going to start here with some praise for Survivor showrunner Jeff Probst, who over the past year or so, we have wanted to vote him off the show on a number of occasions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And finally, he's done something that both Matt and I have been, yes. you know, really wanting. And it's two things. Yes. It's no more sitting out back to back to back to back to back <laughs> yeah. challenges. Yes. That's over. Yeah. Also, I mean, we said, you know, if, if you can have the advantage like Carson did last season to be able to 3D print a puzzle, like, why shouldn't you? Yeah. But for us, it was really about, well, why should he have that advantage? Why isn't Survivor putting the money into getting different puzzles? And here we are tonight. He's like brand new puzzle. Ha ha ha. Good, good on you. Good on you, Probes. You get two thumbs up from us. I'm sure you were listening to all of our thoughts on this past season and making that change happen. The sit out rule. Goodbye. Yep. That was dumb. If you're playing Survivor, you should have to actually play all facets of Survivor in some shape or form. Yes. This, I think, was a much better episode than the premiere. Mm -hmm. I think we had more well-rounded characters from start to finish. I mean, there's there's a couple of people I think we might still be iffy about following this, but I I can't believe myself when I'm when it comes to Emily. Like I'm I'm just going to say that here from the start. I'm not saying I'm the president of the Emily fan club or anything, but but Matt has bought the redemption arc. I listen. She was at, she was at the floor. There was nowhere for Emily to go but up in my mind. She's not my favorite, but she's not the floor. The, the floor is not her anymore. Listen, like Caleb did a great job trying to bring it around. My fellow Canadian, I mean, mm -hmm. he really put himself out there to try to guide her, try to listen to her, try to figure out where she's coming from and then try to give her some advice. And then she did go around and speak to everybody. You know, yeah, that's great. But <laughs> how hot she came in in that first episode like being so aggressive to bruce and sabaya and caleb like it's just no i i need more than one episode i'm not saying people can't have a redemption arc they absolutely can yeah. but it's episode two i need to know that it's real so <laughs> even as a fellow canadian caleb i need a little more time <laughs> Well, we have a lot of time to get into everything that we saw over the course of this just crazy episode. But before we go further, hit that subscribe button for more Survivor 45 coverage the rest of this season. We have a lot more to get into. And by hitting that subscribe button, you help support us to make these videos that we love to do so much for you guys. Absolutely. And we're also covering Big Brother 25 here. Yep. So, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're here every week. Okay. So... The vote off between Brandon and Emily, this is a this is a really tricky thing, but I'm gonna put on a tinfoil hat here because mm -hmm. I have an idea of what happened. If if Brandon did five percent better in that puzzle, I'm not saying he had to do well enough to win, but if he showed like a certain degree of competency, I think he probably stays because I think you're probably right in that. Emily was pretty good in this episode, but she was really bad in the premiere. And it takes time to win people over. But he was so bad. Like, he was unbelievably bad. And I like Brandon, but I, I would have voted out Brandon, too. Even with this powerful, this beautiful speech he gave about wanting to be there. Like, I... I root for him in life, but mm -hmm. if I keep Brandon, we're going to lose again. And eventually it's going to be me that's voted out of the game. And I, I want to give a powerful speech, but at the end of the season, when I'm winning the grand prize. Yeah, no, no offense to Brandon. I really yeah. like Brandon. I said that in the premiere. I say it here too. Like I'll die on the Brandon Hill. Like I <laughs> yeah. really, really like him. And I think if it's just between energy, you need to get rid of Emily because having yeah. a positive energy in a situation that's a difficult situation can really make or break people's spirit. However, yeah. challenges are also involved in this. Tonight was a no-brainer. Emily showed that she was able to help in a challenge and Brandon lost two puzzle challenges, one by himself, one with the tribe. <laughs> Uh, he had to go. He had yeah. to go. This this tribe was going to have no chance. 
And Sabaya even said it at Tribal. You you told us you were the puzzle guy. And if yep. you're saying you're the puzzle guy and you can't do puzzles, I mean, the water boy thing was funny and, you know, good for you probes with that as well. But it's also just like Survivor doesn't need a water boy. Survivor, you actually do have yeah. to play a little bit. Thanks you do. Once again, to that rule that they have changed, you have to play. I think, I will say, I think Emily did what she could in order to spare this off a little bit on her own. Her deciding... I'm going to give you, Sabaya, my shot in the dark. I mean, was it calculated? Yes. I'm sure Sabaya mm-hmm. knew that it was calculated, but... She did. It's still something. You know, she she did something. I think she did about as well as someone could do in this episode for someone who nearly burned every essence of their game to ever exist to the ground in the premiere. Yeah, I'm, I am still not in on Emily, as I said. She's got to, there's got to be more time. I'm not going to buy into just a complete redemption arc at this point. I also need to see, you know, if her and Bruce both make it to the merge. Like, is there an apology that's going to mm-hmm. come out there? Because I feel like it needs to, like, yeah. honestly, for me to feel good about all of this. Like, but she really did do everything that she possibly could. Giving Sabaya the shot in the dark, that was the right move. Like, she she had to show something to be like, listen, like, at the very least, you know, I can show you that I'm going to be trustworthy. I want to be here. And I want to be here because you guys decide to choose to have have me here like you know I'm not here just roll my way out of it you guys want me I want to be here you already praised Caleb so I'm going to continue the train I love him I I love him too I love him so much he this is a really hot take two episodes in but he is like the perfect example of what good survivor players should be Mm -hmm. in this era like he's really likable he can do challenges but he's also he's clearly willing to make moves but he's not doing it in like this like mean or aggressive way where he is being overly harsh. He, you know, I, I'm okay if you're a little bit villainous here or there on the show, sure. but you need to have fun playing the game and everything about this guy. Just, he just breathes fun. Like I would want to hang out with Caleb. Well, he's also very smart socially because yeah. it's like, okay, if Emily stays, you know, or if she, you know, makes it all the way to jury and I'm still in the game, she'll remember that I'm the first person that stepped up genuinely to be like, listen, you know, you, you really want to stay in this game. I'll give you a bit of advice. I'll help you out. Like, like let's figure out some small steps together. He's not putting himself out there completely, but he's putting himself out there enough that gives Emily enough of a lifeline to be able to maybe stay a little bit longer. Like this game is very social. Like, yeah, you can win challenges and all that stuff matters, but what really matters (laughs) is jury management. They're the people that decide if you get the money or not. And I think for Emily, if anyone has gotten through to her, it's him. So if he's at the end and she's on the jury, I feel like she will remember that. Well, before we get to some of the other tribes here, and uh, we got to talk about this immunity idol twist that they have done, which there's a part of me that just hates it, where if you don't have fire, you have no chance of ever getting this idol out. But it is also hilarious. God, it was so hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I felt so bad for Sabaya. Oh, my goodness. When yeah. she pulled it out and she was just like, oh, I need fire then for this. You can see it that she was yeah. ready to just like laugh it off and just be like, oh, my goodness. Like, how could this go any any more wrong? Pro- I really like her. I Yeah, I, I do, too. I think she just. She feels very real. She feels very authentic. Yes. And this, I did. I felt for her too. And I, I do think that this is really crummy to do to these players. But it is. It's just. It's great entertainment. So Probst, I, I'm, I'm hating myself, but you, you win again, Probst. Yeah. I mean, at that point, I mean, if I really thought I was in danger, like if I was. Emily and I found that yeah. I'm telling you right now I'd be out there with a bow drill like trying to like make any kind of fire <laughs> that I possibly could to melt that thing yeah I mean luckily Sabaya just put it out in the sun <laughs> just... you well, never anything. know right anything I'll take off my glasses and just hold them up and hope for the best it's okay this is really one of those situations where maybe if Sabaya knew she was in more danger maybe she would have 
done this, yep. but it was weird that everybody was just so blatantly, oh, it's either one of these two. Like, everybody else just chill. Yeah, I actually, I'll say this about Emily. I appreciated that she just put it out there, that she was just like, yep. is it safe to say it's between me and Brandon and them being like, honest with her too and saying yes it was actually pretty interesting like even with the boat and you know drew came back and was honest and brandon yep. came back and was honest like it was it was really interesting how that played out because that doesn't always happen that way and no. with drew he's such a wild card i just don't know enough <laughs> about him yet and he's kind of like uh, kind of made himself out to be like i can play both sides i can be a villain and when everybody was like hiding it was like surprise <laughs> like it felt like it just melted his heart in just the right way where he was like you know what i'm just gonna tell them like they they care so much about me they're so excited to see me i'm just gonna be honest and i think it was really the right move because man things are coming together for him i i, I really i know survivor is not in real time but I, there's a message i want to send to drew right now drew there's clearly a lot of people on the reba mcintyre tribe that do really like you mm -hmm. Can you can you stop the act in the confessionals? Like you, yes, it is an act. I'm sorry. It is. He he's people on his tribe clearly really like him, and that's that's great. It's a very advantageous to your game. Mm -hmm. But I just the way in which they like him, I just I don't buy it. I I don't believe in him when he goes in there and he's just like doing this stuff i get it you're you know survivors your dream you probably want a lot of air time you want to mm -hmm. you know these there's a couple of things that he said about like these medieval references that felt like he was at home practicing them in front of the mirror before he went on the show yes listen as as fellow geeks yes. we understand that you are the person that that is there representing all of us yes. so that and i think there is on a lot of reality shows just this feeling that if you're the geek that's there yeah. you have to be you know talking about dungeons and dragons and medieval yeah. this and video game that and, it, and that's not really the way that it is i mean geeks like these things but it's not like that's all we talk about but yeah. i think that it's fair to say that i'm sure that this show is pushing to be yeah. like give us your best geeky stuff because we know that that works and that that sells and i'm yeah. sure he did prepare for that going in being like i know that geeks that are like geeky geeky yeah. geek do really well with the audience and everybody loves them so you know i'm gonna pull out <laughs> all the stops sort of thing yeah. but but when he came back that was the moment that everything turned around for me and drew because i was just kind of out on drew as a geek to geek drew yeah. i was just like you just don't feel genuine like something's just off this all feels very rehearsed but when everybody jumped out he's the bar and he was so genuinely just like oh my goodness like like ow i feel it in my heart i was like okay there he is there he is like you i'm i'm trying to get there i feel like i am with drew at this point like you are with emily where it's just like i've, I've seen so much of your stick now drew in these confessionals i i want to be there with you i am a geek i am also a tall geek i am one of mm -hmm. you i i just need to see it a little bit more i need more camp drew because he's clearly in a really good spot like mm -hmm. him and austin have like this thing that's going on now austin he has not found seemingly the you have to burn the candle idol but he's well on his way to that yeah and i mean them sharing that they each have something like it it was a really nice moment i think together they're they're gonna be really tough to beat they 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 really are if they can just kind of extend outward make some other allegiances it seems like they may have a four-person group on this tribe yep. i do have to say though that while i have really enjoyed 90 minute survivor so far mm -hmm. don't give me two minutes on somebody's toes or feet or i'm just i'm good i'm just i'm just saying that there was a certain i want to get to know more about these people and this is just a general rule I don't need to know more about your feet and just in life in general, I'm good. Yeah. And I mean, they were trying to make it out to be like, it's this really weird thing, yeah. but like, it's really not that weird. There's <laughs> lots of people out there that have that exact same thing. Like it's not that strange. Okay. Well, let's just talk for a couple of minutes about the bellow blue tribe or 
as I want to call it, the the Bruce tribe for your guy Bruce here, who is Bruce is doing the most. Bruce is loose. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Watching Bruce on that boat doing the robot, I was like, I completely understand why everybody's all in on. Well, not everybody, <laughs> but that most yeah. people are all in because it's the same thing I was saying with Brandon having like that good energy, fun energy yeah. when you're in a really difficult situation can make or break people when you're in a survivalist type situation. Yeah. Feeling positive, having a smile, it helps you forget that you're hungry and sleeping on the ground and miserable. Like all of that stuff can be alleviated and it makes a huge difference. Bruce is doing really, really well with that. And I know he's struggling to be like, I'm going to be funny guy, yeah. Uncle Bruce, or I'm going to be moving into dad mode. But like, I think most of the tribe understands that he's also a little bit of sort of the dad of the camp. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. However, I will be like, I would be out on the name dropping thing. <laughs> I do not like yeah. that at all. Bruce. Uh, you know, I, I just got to I got to tell you this as somebody who's also been on reality TV. We're not that special <laughs> reality <laughs> TV stars. We're really not. Maybe you get recognized a couple of times at the supermarket, but then you go back to your normal life and then nobody cares. So it's just like you got to you got to take a step back on the name dropping. I think. You are fairly Yeah, likeable. especially if you're going to be name dropping Kane. Like, no offense or anything, but like, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, no, no kidding. I, I, I don't have a great read on this tribe, though. If I'm being really honest, it's just sort of like it seems like we've got a couple of people in the middle. Brando seems to be in the middle. We don't know which way this is going to go. It's like with Bruce. He's a really interesting character now because I could see him going really far into the merge because, he, like you said, he's really likable. He yeah. has a good social game. He's yes. probably decent in some challenges. Yeah, everybody's drinking the Bruce juice right now. <laughs> like, it is like whatever he is selling, yeah. everybody's buying it. The only mistake that I had thought that he was making, but it turned out to be okay, was him getting on that boat. If I was him and yeah. I knew that I was coming into this game where people were like, ooh, I don't know, you've been on the show before, yeah. I would have been like, I don't want to go uh, go on the boat. Like, I don't need to go get this advantage. And I mean, it was cool to see, though, that he, he knows himself well yeah. enough to go to that advantage and be like, I don't I know I'm not going to be able to do this and I'm not willing to give up my vote for that because my vote's really valuable and he left. And I was like, good for you. I think I would only ever risk this in the event that I knew that I was almost certainly the next person voted out. Because it's like, yeah. what do you gain? Drew got his like safety without power. That's good until the final 10. So it's just like, okay, so you have to be one at tribal council. Mm -hmm. And two, you have to actually know you're in danger and mm -hmm. you know I would, if I had it, I guess I would use it beforehand just out of principle. You don't want to be pieing yourself on the base on the way out, but risking not having a boat, I, I just wouldn't do it. I just, I, I agree with what Bruce did in that situation. I don't know if I would have volunteered. I, I want to be at camp where I'm hearing what people are saying. I agree, especially if I'm Bruce, because you know that, you know, Emily called him out. You don't yeah. know exactly how everyone feels, but we're only getting 90 minutes, right? Yeah. I mean, Bruce might be feeling pretty good because he does have everybody wrapped around his finger and he clearly can read people really well, well enough to be like... I've got this. I've got everybody wrapped around my figure except for one person, enough that I can actually get on this boat and go for an advantage. And everyone will still be okay with me when I come back. And they were. It's remarkable. I do find the picture of Bruce, like, one-sided beef to be very funny, where she's just in the <laughs> confessional just being like, I can't stand him. And Bruce just seems to be completely oblivious. And I understand where she's coming from. Like, seeing that happen, like, he's... He, I say this with pure love because you guys already know, like, I'm Team Bruce. Yeah, Bruce is my winner pick. I just love him. But he just feels like somebody's cringy parent that's like, look at me flossing. <laughs> look at me roboting. Like, I, he reminds me of, like, a like a Michael Scott type character where it's just he's he's trying to be so funny, but he's just so out of touch with stuff that it's just, like, it's so endearing. But 
you know, I can see why she's looking at it being like, why is everybody drinking the Bruce juice? I don't understand it. Like it's it this don't they see what he's doing? It's like, no, because everybody's, you know, drunk the juice. It's over. And me too. Yeah, I know. We we we'd be drinking the Bruce juice or just just throwing that out there. I was drinking the Bruce juice last season, <laughs> like when he got hit in yeah. the head and he was out. I he was like my preseason. I was like, this is my guy. Well, I think we're much higher on this season now than the premiere, which was a total train wreck, and it seemed like we were careening off a cliff. Yeah, no the the Brandon <laughs> vote was was the right vote. It's hard, but you know, it's hard. you know, he 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 got to play the game. He got to live out his dream. Good for you, Brandon. Yeah. You can always you can always have that. Look at us being positive. All right. Well, he's so positive. I know it's hard. It's just it's hard not to really like him. But yeah. hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any other Survivor coverage we have coming your way. Yep. And thank you so much to our patrons for your thank support. You. We really appreciate that, and we'll see you here next time.